Hello everyone, Justin here and this morning we're going to draw a GB airplane. It's this really short airplane that almost doesn't look like it can fly. But anyway, let's go ahead and start by drawing a center line for the fuselage, the body of the airplane. And on the end, let's draw a line perpendicular to it. And right here then, we're going to draw an oval. So basically this airplane is a cylinder. It starts out as a cylinder and it flattens out towards the tail. Okay, so inside of this oval, let's go ahead and draw another oval right here. And here's our cylinder then. We'll draw parallel lines that go out. And we'll draw another line just to the behind here. We're going to actually taper this out a little bit just to show that it's some there's a little bit of a roundness to it and draw another line back here okay so basically this is the right side of an, another oval here all right so let's continue on backwards with the fuselage let's go back and here and this line just goes back about this far and Right here then is where the pilot would sit. So let's just indicate that with a line that goes up and then back. Okay, again, we've got this curve that follows this oval shape and we'll do a, draw a couple lines here to indicate the parts of the canopy. So then this line will curve up to form the tail, the upper fin, curve up and down this way. All the way down to meet up with our line here and it curves out a little bit for a pointy section. Okay, so right about halfway here will be the tail wing so curve front section go across and taper to a point okay so now we have to draw the draw in the wing so we'll go ahead and kind of indicate what direction we're going to have the wing so kind of like this all right so Starting at the leading edge here, let's draw a line that goes out. And start leveling it out to show some thickness to this wing and some width. And then the part that attaches to the, to the body then will be curved like this. Okay. And then we can now continue into a parallel line to this, to the tip of the wing. All right, so following this direction of the line, we'll go ahead and draw the other wing. So right here, okay. And draw the, the tip, just like that. All right, in the center of this front cone will be the center of the propeller. And we're gonna assume that the, you, cannot, you can't see the propeller because it's spinning. So we're just gonna see the inside cone and we'll just curve it in like that. All right, so now we just need to draw in the landing gear. So right underneath where the wing attaches to the body we'll draw a couple lines going tilting forward and tapering together and curve the far section to connect them so then here we're going to draw a teardrop shape 
that tapers towards the back okay and sort of indicate a wheel that's hidden underneath and we'll do the same thing on the other side so again with our perspective let's, let's imagine that this bottom line would be right here and probably draw it right about here so let's go ahead and draw our teardrop shape right there okay and kind of indicate right here with a short line this part the strut that holds it and again a wheel that's hidden underneath okay so then we've got a couple wires that help to hold the wing and these attach right here to the body and tapers a bit to attach to the wing okay and finally on the where the wing attaches you've got this flaring of the wing where it actually attaches so we're just going to add another line here so now all we need to do is touch up some of the detail add a thicker line for the outline and we should be pretty much done so I'll go ahead and take my thin sharpie and start defining some of the outlines actually what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use my thicker marker Alright, now that I've outlined it with my thick marker, I'm going to go ahead and add some detail with my thin sharpie and add some shadow. Maybe add a cast shadow down here and a couple lines in the back here. shadow here to show that form shadow to give this landing gear some form and here and I'll, I'll use curved lines here following the form of the front part where the engine may sit and some interrupted lines as I get into the lighter areas. Okay, and same here. Add some shadow, form shadow, and the cast shadow would be down here. So here I changed my the, the direction of my shading lines to follow the direction of the fuselage and this part gets flat so I'm not gonna do too much here but I'll go ahead and add shadow here underneath this wing and define the canopy a little bit more okay Okay, now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and switch to a thinner pen and add some more detail. So, there's a, this canopy is kind of rounded over here, so I'm just going to add some shadow lines here. And these things were used, I think, for racing, so I'm going to go ahead and put a number seven here. and add like a design we'll go ahead and color this red ok 
Okay, so we're gonna have this flame-like design. Well, not really flame, but kind of a graphic color. It's gonna go down like this. Okay, I'm gonna actually use my, it's hard to see that line. I'm gonna use my Thinum Sharpie for that. And actually, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this for the seven as well. Okay. And just add a few more details, like there's a vent here. Add some holes. And these things that are going across here. We'll also add that same design down here on the landing gear. And on the wing. So it's just a scallop design here in the wing. There's also a number seven here. So I'll use my thinner marker because this number seven is going to be foreshortened. Okay, just some more detail here. And there's like a dice up here and maybe some writing. And Okay, and that should pretty much do it for this uh, drawing. So you can kind of see how I go about drawing this. If I wasn't, if I was drawing this myself, I would probably do it in a different way. But there's just many ways that you can go about drawing, doing a drawing, and you'll find your way just by practicing and drawing a lot. Alright, so just to show that it's kind of moving, I'm just going to draw a couple speed lines here. All going the same direction. And my pen's not... My pen's not drawing very well anymore. And that should be it. Thanks a lot for watching and uh, have a great day.